to thisamazinglife.com. I'm here today with Dr. Jeff Baudouin, founder of Omaha Power Yoga. Welcome, Jeff. The theme for the month is tapas, which you know is self-discipline. Um, tell me a little bit about your thoughts and reactions to tapas. Um, well, when I think of the concept or the idea of tapas, well, first of all, in yoga, it means consistent, you know, focused effort. Um, it means living with clear and conscious intention. Um, and I can't think of any part of yoga that tapas is an incredibly important to and indispensable. So, you know, I was in the military 130 years ago. <laughs> one of my, uh, the leaders in one of the platoons I was involved in said that discipline means doing the things that you know you should do even though you're not, you don't want to do them. Hmm. And that stuck with me. In a sense, you have to apply tapas, you have to apply focus, consistent effort to practice yoga, period, so it's indispensable. Yeah, I like that. So I know that you have a very um, consistent home practice, which of course requires a lot of tapas. Um, can you tell us about that practice? Sure. Um, I have a studio in my home. Um, I practice a minimum of 90 minutes a day, six days a week. Um, I take a group class about once a month. Um, I really enjoy my own solitude practice and it took, it took a long time and it took a lot of tapas and it took a lot of discipline to develop it and cultivate it to the point that it is now. And I practice in silence, you know, I don't, I don't have mirrors, I don't, I don't have a clock in there, I bring my dog in there because he's the most present being I know, <laughs> and he watches me practice. But for an hour and a half, two hours, I'm in there and, and I don't bring any of my thoughts of my life off the mat and it's, it's the most wonderful part of my day. Have you always been a self-disciplined person, or is that something that's kind of developed with different life experiences you've had? Um, yes, I've always been boring. <laughs> I, and I say that because I think sometimes um, people think that discipline is boring or it's serious. Mm -hmm. um, and to me, it's freedom. Uh, and, the, and the reason I say that is because I think to a degree I've always been disciplined, but I was raised in... Um, around a lot of abuse and around a lot of alcohol and a lot of fear and I don't know if it's it's a natural part of of who I am to be disciplined but I have two choices I either develop discipline or I end up in prison or dead and um, I've developed more and more discipline to the point that I feel more and more free now um, mentally physically emotionally than I've ever felt um, I, I battled with I battled with uh, addiction in my twenties pretty severely, and uh, my yoga practice and and the discipline that it requires and it cultivates um, has completely uh, you know helped me transcend that addiction to the point that it's it's so far in the rearview mirror now. Yeah. yeah, is that when you started yoga? Yeah, it was. I was a pretty low point in my life. I mean, I was I was doing okay financially um, and materialistically, um, and I was into lifting weights, and I'd always been into you know some really strong physical practice. That's what I'm attracted to about uh, power yoga and Ashtanga yoga. It's very physical, but um, I walked into a yoga studio in 1999, and um, and it, it hasn't it hasn't let me down. Well, when did you start your home practice? My home practice started two weeks after the my first yoga class. Um, I walked into At One Yoga in Scottsdale, Arizona. The first class was amazing, and it was deep, and it was it was um, immediately I was hooked. But I was I found a um, on the shelf a Brian Kest um, CD and I started practicing that on my own and I, I messed around with taking classes at studios but I really realized that I really liked just being you know not uh, distracted by what other people are doing and and the whole yo the studio scene and all that. How how would you say it's changed you? Oh man. 
It, you know, that's an interesting question because I don't think yoga has changed me. I think it has revealed me. Ah, I like that. <laughs> Well, you know what changes us is our upbringing and the conditioning and the programming and, and our culture and all the things that we're exposed to change us because on the level of the mind, the mind is just a conditioning, right? So teachers, students, friends, the things we're exposed to, that's what changes us on that superficial level. And the way tapas works and the way yoga works and the way discipline works is that it burns up all that superficiality and all the shadows to reveal who you are. And that is what tapas is all about. Yeah, absolutely.